Jasma, and today we're making Mango Pomelo Sago. This is a very popular dessert in the summertime since it is cold and refreshing, but of course you can eat it all year round. This dessert originated from Hong Kong, but it is also very popular in South of Asia. This dessert features sago, mangoes, pomelo, and coconut milk. But today instead of using pomelo, we're going to be using some red grapefruits. They are both from the citrus family, so they're practically the same type of fruit. You could choose between grapefruits or pomelo depending on where you are and which types of fruit are in season. So let's get started. For the ingredients you will need, for mangoes, you will be needing about 130 grams of mango flesh, 80 grams of sago, 1 red grapefruit, 100 grams of ice cubes, 160 grams of coconut milk, 160 grams of light cream, and 50 grams of white granulated sugar. Today we're using some sago, which is a very important ingredient inside of this dessert. It is not a type of rice. Instead, it is a type of starch that has been extracted from a pip of a tropical palm tree. The sago looks white right now, but after it has been boiled, it is going to be clear, looks like tiny little pearls, and tastes sort of like jelly. It is often used in desserts since it is clear and looks like tiny little pearls. Prepare a pot of boiling water. We're going to be using 8 cups of water today. You want to give the sago enough water because it is going to puff up and it's going to stick together if you only give it a little bit of water. And make sure you do not soak this before you boil it because it is starch and if you put starch into water it is going to break apart and it won't be little pearls so it won't look as good. Place the sago into the boiling water, and it has to be boiling water. And put it on the lid, let it boil on high heat for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the center of the sago should be still white, but the rest of it should be clear. Now turn off the heat, keep the lid on, and keep the sago inside of the pot with the hot water for 20 minutes or until it is completely clear. It's been 20 minutes, you can see the sago is now completely clear. And now we're going to take it out into some ice water. This is what it looks like before it was cooked. You can see it's still white. And after it has been boiled, it has puffed up, almost doubled in size, and it is now nice and clear. Drained away the water from the sago. And now I'm going to dump it into another bowl. You want to drain away as much water as you possibly can. While we're waiting for the sago to soak, we could start to dice up the mangoes. So we're using four mangoes today. This serves four people. And we're going to dice it into two different types. One type is the perfectly cubed ones, which we're going to use to decorate the top of the mango pomelo sago. And the other type is the not so pretty ones, which we're going to use to blend it up. And this is going to be half and half. mangoes. I picked the pretty ones which I will be using for decoration and set it aside and the rest I put into another plate and you want half of each. So now we can start to slice our grapefruit. I'm going to cut a few slits into the skin and I'm going to peel it. Keep in mind that you're not going to be using the whole entire grapefruit. Already. So now take a blender. We're going to pour in the mango that is not going to be used as decoration. Okay. 
Also, pour in the light cream. And you could also use milk if you want to, but just don't add the ice. Pour in the ice cubes. This is going to make it nice and refreshing. And finally, pour in the white granulated sugar. You could also use honey if you want to. Now we're going to put on the lid and blend until smooth. I have all of the ingredients ready. I have half a shredded grapefruit, but of course you can use more if you want to. Some cubed mangoes, sago, the mango and the cream mixture, and the coconut milk. So now we can put everything together. I have a fancy little bowl here, and I will show you another way to do it later. First, take about a quarter of the sago and place it on the bottom of the bowl. Keep in mind that this is for four people, so do not use all of it on one bowl. Flatten it down a little bit, and now we can pour in the mango and cream mixture. And this is supposed to be quite thick. Now put on some mango cubes. So I'm making a little design that looks sort of like an S, but you could do it however you like. And I'm dividing this in half so I can pour the coconut milk into the other half. And if you're doing this, make sure you're doing a thick layer of a mango so it could actually prevent the coconut milk from leaking. And if the coconut milk is too thick when you're pouring it on, you can microwave it for around 10 seconds. And finally, sprinkle on some shredded grapefruit. Now I'm going to show you a different way to serve this dessert. So we're in a tall, clear glass, put in a layer of the sago and flatten it down with a spoon to make an even layer. Pour on the mango mixture, but don't fill all the way to the top. I'm only filling this glass about a third of the way full. Jiggle the glass round to make an even layer of the mango, and then pour over the coconut milk. Now once again, if you find it to be too thick, you could microwave it for 5 to 10 seconds. And if you find the coconut milk sinking into the bottom of the glass and into the mango mixture, you can pour it over a back of a spoon and let it slowly slide down into the mango mixture, which is going to make it a lot gentler. So now pile on a layer of the diced mangoes. I'm just piling it up in the center. And finally, we're going to sprinkle on some shredded red grapefruits. There are many different ways on how you could serve this dessert. So you can see I'm doing another one in this fancy little bowl. I placed on the sago, flattened it down, pouring on the mango mixture, and piling the mangoes on top of that. And finally, I'm going to drizzle on some coconut milk. Really, you could just do it however you like. And then finally sprinkling on some red grapefruits. And that is another way on how you could serve this. That's how you make mango pamelo sago. This recipe makes for four people, and you can see I have four different bowls. Each one is different. You can plate this however you like to. And when you eat it, you want to make sure you stir the coconut milk and the mango mixture all together. This is perfect for the summertime. You want to eat it while it's cold. And when you're preparing the sago, you want to place the milk or light cream back into the fridge so it does not go bad. So I hope you could try this out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!